Hi everyone, we're going to make two different kinds of landscapes today. One where you're scoring the paper with a fork and the other one where you're putting folds in the paper and the watercolor in both cases pools into the incised lines and into the concavity of the folds of the page. And you see I've tried it a few times. I always do more than one. This one is started so you can see the folds and I work on it, you know, leaving it in this kind of C shape so it will catch the folds. And you just keep adding your layers. You just bit by bit, you do a little, you let it dry, you add some more. And your folds will help the landscape come to life. Sometimes you can just like pour some color on as well and just see what happens there. A little water on it. These were inspired by a trip to the Santa Fe Albuquerque area and so these are the colors of that landscape. And I just saw layers and layers of mountains and hills. And because you're in Santa Fe you want to get just that little bit of turquoise in there at some point. And you just let it flow, leave some white areas also. And maybe some does have browns. If it runs, do not worry. It will run. And you can control the runs uh, somewhat. And if you see my video on the drip paintings, you'll see that this is sort of a combination of the drip painting as well as these folds. The other technique, those are all the colors you want to mix ahead of time. The other technique is to scratch with a fork slowly onto the surface. So you really, really press hard and you go slowly, but on a lot of these, I, I am also dragging it in this sideways way. And I'm really trying to catch the paper because that's going to make these deep grooves. And when we add the color, it will soak in and the lines will be revealed. So here we are, revealing the lines. Start with a light color so that you can change your colors as you go. Leave some white, always. Move it around and your landscape will start to appear. Wet the top, add some blue, and you've got a sky. Let's do it really fast. Water. Blue. <laughs> That's all you got to do. That can be your whole sky right there. Uh, always repeat your color. So I'll get a little blue down here just so that it's... Part of it. Happy painting.